you know, there's kind of a taboo in the horse world. You, like, don't want to talk about the fact that they're injured. But really, when really, you know, like, everybody who you would tell would just feel sorry for you and kind of, and be curious what you're doing to rehab them. So I've decided to take my rehab public. (laughs) Hey, everybody. I'm Alyssa Schaefer, and this here is Fuego. He's just chilling uh, right now because um, this is an upper level event horse and the last uh, competition we did he was competing at intermediate Um, but he is currently suffering from a superficial injury and um, you know I'm not a vet so in layman's terms you know it's a um, it's essentially a bowed tendon so um, there's different levels of severity in terms of these like there's different levels of severity in all injuries but um, Basically, it means that he'll be off for uh, nine months to a year. Um, And especially if you want to rehab an injury correctly, like you really have to give it due time. Um, One thing I can definitely say that I am not is unfamiliar with rehabbing injuries. Um, I started off as a gymnast and as a gymnast, I mean, you're um, you put your body through so much strenuous work. Like you honestly, you're just you're half of your career. You're spent injured and rehabbing something. Now, um, gymnasts are very much a suck it up and do it anyway type of bunch. So um, I can't necessarily say I wasn't doing gymnastics while I was rehabbing those injuries. But um, part of, you know, there's four stages of any rehab. And, um, you know, once you get to the second stage, you can be doing a working rehab. You do also have to understand that um, any working rehab, well, depending on the injury, but working rehabs um, usually take a little longer because you're putting more strain on the uh, on the injury as you go. Um, But uh, I just wanted to, you know, share my journey with you guys because, um, you know, this is my second this is my second time rehabbing, well, this is my third time rehabbing this horse. <laughs> this is my second time rehabbing a bowed tendon. Um, you know, it, after you have so many horses, like, you're, you're, uh, you just t- start tallying up because, <laughs> you know, horses get hurt just like you or I, like, they need to be rehabbed, and um, especially athletic horses, you know, like, there's a lot of demand put on their bodies, so, you know, it really, it just makes sense that um, at some point, in time you'd be rehabbing some sort of injury um you know especially for a horse like this who's really hard on his body um but anyway i just wanted to you know there's kind of a taboo in the horse world on talking about like your horse while they're like you like don't want to talk about the fact that they're injured um for me personally i um I guess I can understand why, like, you wouldn't want your horse maybe seen in in a bad light. Like, you, um, like, you, uh, you know, you don't want people to think that you did something wrong or that you, you know, didn't care for them enough or that, um, you weren't there for them and you didn't notice the injury soon enough. Um, like, those types of judgments. Um, but really, when really, you know, like everybody who you would tell would just feel sorry for you and kind of, and be curious what you're doing to rehab them. So I've decided to take my rehab public, (laughs) um, because at the end of the day, I would absolutely love to hear, um, your guys's tips and tricks for your rehabs and everything, because I have a feeling that if we create a community of people who have rehabbed injuries, that we might learn a thing or two. So, um, this is Fuego. And we are officially, what is it? We're officially four months into his rehab. Um, I'm going to go ahead and include his, his rehab plan in this, in this video. And then, um, and then we will see where we get to. All right. See you on the other side.